The new Ricoh Theta X can detect objects and faces within pictures. It can then reframe the images to put the main object in the center using metadata. In this example, the cat and the two boxes will be on the sides of the equirectangular image. The AI figures out that the cat is the most important object and puts in the center and faces. I should be at the edge. However, I used a new API, Face Detect, and AI Auto Thumbnail. My face is now centered by default. This is the opening scene when you first tap on the thumbnail. So if there's no face, it's going to detect the human as the most important object. Another new API feature is to set the camera control source to app. This will turn off the LED panel on the screen or at least make it mainly black. If you press the shutter button, it will return back to the uh, showing the LED but if you set the camera control source back to app, it will revert back to this black screen with uh, just a single button. This is to conserve the power on the camera on the screen. And this is the best practice is to turn it off so that the user can just use your mobile app. The new camera has a bunch of new video features, including 5.7K at 30 FPS and 4K 60 FPS and 2K 60 FPS. These are new. The bit rate can also be tuned to adjust the file size. This was existing prior in the Z1 as well. When you set it to 5.7K at 30 frames per second, the video quality is phenomenal. It is a stark difference from the older 4K video. This screen capture does not do the video justice. You can see that there is no noticeable stitch line, despite the fact that I am going between light and dark uh, sunlit areas and the shade. In this video demo, I am zooming in and out using the Ricoh Theta default application. The actual video quality is phenomenal and I encourage you to give it a look, both um, in semi-shade and in bright sunlight. GPS is now built into the camera and you do not need a mobile phone to record the GPS coordinate. Thumbnails work with the URL and the query type equals thumb. Once you have the thumbnail down, you can then uh, embed the URL of the full size image and pull it down straight from the camera to save it to local storage or view it directly from the camera as in this demonstration. Live preview works as expected on both Android and iOS. In the application I built for the Rico Theta Z1, I just ran it with no modifications and did not notice any stuttering or flickering of the screen. In order to test for stuck frames and make sure the video is running smoothly, I have the rear lens of the Theta X close to a computer monitor and the computer monitor is displaying a normal video. The current live view of the camera is an rectangular view. This is on an iPhone 7, so an older model, running iOS 15 and 14. We did different tests. Both of them work without any problems. I also tested a Google Pixel 2 running Android 12. So this is the newest version of Android. Uh, there wasn't any problems with the motion JPEG of the camera. I don't have the camera up against a video for this demonstration. I'm just waving my hands um, in front of the camera so that we can see if there's any frames or flickering or whether the frames get stuck. But the test went very smoothly. I also tested stopping the video stream and then running another command and then restarting the video stream. This also worked without any problems. It started right back up. Be sure to check out the Rico Theta X API for your next business project.